I'm Dove Weinstein. I'm the director, artistic director and founder of Tiny Ninja Theater, which is mainly Shakespeare productions performed by inch high classic ninjas and assorted dime store figures. So what you have in front of you here is the um, ballroom scene from Romeo and Juliet, the classic scene where Romeo and Juliet meet each other for the first time and uh, declare their immediate love for each other. As you can see now, Juliet is being wooed by not Romeo, but some other anonymous soldier, but that's all about to change. Meanwhile, Romeo and Tybalt have a brief conf confrontation as well, which uh, has tragic results, but in the end, love conquers all. So how did you get the idea for Tiny Ninja? Uh, the Tiny Ninja is actually coming out of vending machines. You put in a quarter, you turn the handle, you get a, you know, like you'd get a gumball or something. And I saw them all over New York when I first moved here, and I thought, you know, nobody's using these guys to do classical theater, so I just kind of decided to fill that gap. And is it usually classical theater that you do? It's almost entirely Shakespeare at this point. We have, uh, I started with Macbeth, and I did the show Romeo and Juliet, and I also do Hamlet. More recently, I've started to do a Treasure Island, which is a much more kind of, uh, what do you say? As you know, there's a lot of uh, tension between pirates and ninjas, so the ninjas don't actually make an appearance in this show, so I'm kind of left on my own to fend in a more uh, storytelling kind of a way. And do you uh, attribute characteristics to your pieces here? I see... Uh, does this girl play Juliet in other shows? Uh, is she no, the, these Romeo and Juliet actually don't appear in other productions. However, we do have some cast members who are cast as various things. The Mrs. Smile, who plays the nurse in this production, also plays uh, Macbeth, Lady Macbeth. And I should mention that the audience gets binoculars. Yes. So that they can watch this. And do you build the set pieces yourself? I do. Uh, would you be able to show us another one, maybe? Uh, sure. Let me show you. This is, this is, this is Mrs. Smile, who plays the nurse. And this is Mercutio. And can you show us what, what you have for uh, Juliet's bedroom, maybe, or anything like that? It's, it's a little, got a little bit... A little bit hurt in transition here, but I'll try and fix that up a little bit for you. That's that's the poison in front of her bed, and she of course drinks that to uh, terrible consequences. It's very sad. Yes, it's very tragic. And are there any other shows that you'll be doing coming up? At the end of March, we'll be at the Bowery Poetry Club doing Tiny Ninja Theater Presents Treasure Island. Of course, like every reasonable organization, we do have a website, tinyninjatheater.com, and all the information is there. You can join our mailing list. Uh, you do the entire play. Yes. I mean, you do an abridged version, but how yes. is that? How long does it take you to memorize? Um, the pro the there's, no, there's no greater encouragement to edit a play than there is knowing that you have to memorize all of it. So the process probably takes about two, three months all total. That's building the show, editing the script, memorizing it, you know, kind of piecing it all together uh, all at the same time. And has uh, any one play been particularly rough going for you? Um, each one of them has their each unique challenges, um, but each one is also enjoyable in its own way. Do you have a favorite play? No, no, I like to say I love all my children.